Hi, I'm Gina McKee, soaking up the atmosphere with these gorgeous two guys. It is Tim and Gendel, and their show is getting a lot of great publicity. I love the fact, you've, I mean, what more can I say? I mean, Hang on, I mean, he's got the t-shirt on. You know, I came, saw, got the t-shirt, <laughs> so uh, these aren't for sale, actually. So, so oh, they're not? not? You, can oh. Win them, you can win them at yeah, the show. Or, or if you were being really kind, you would take it off, sign it, and then we could give it away for charity. We'll get some for charity. We do have some, maybe not this one. I'm not really Love Island ripped to take my shirt off and parade down the streets here. for now. But we'll get you one. He's seen his top half, he knows. Right, so tell us what the show is, Gendel. Okay, so basically we play music. It's a kind of a party and a show rolled into one. We'll play a song. If you know the first line of that song, put your hand up. You then come on stage, sing the first line and try and impress our panel of judges, judging you on words, timing and conviction. If you can do that... You'll win a point on our leaderboard. You could be champion of the night, maybe win a prize, and it turns into the best party at the Fringe. Okay, brilliant. Maybe win the T-shirt. Uh, so who came up with the format of the show? So we used to battle each other. We, do a lot, we used to do a lot of travelling and um, in cars, train stations, airports. We'd have our laptops or iPods or whatever, and I'd go, bet you five quid I can sing the next line to this song. And then all of a sudden it just developed into this game where we were battling each other with our, with our, with our computers. And then... From there, we had to do a pub quiz and we ended up doing it as the last round of a pub quiz and everybody loved it. And from there, it turned into a a kind of, we needed half an hour to fill and yeah, and here it is. Ah, It grew organically. Yeah, yeah. It just grew organically into the point where we got judges involved and now it's become a proper show, proper thing. Okay, so who would normally win between both of you guys? Ah, so this is the the thing. I'm pretty much the best at it. I feel I feel I, I create more of the playlists now, so I think I'm probably more knowledgeable on all the songs. So I think I would take Tim down at the moment, but you know it's Ooh, hard to say. Oh, I feel like we should have something here. I should, I should have my decks here, like and play a couple of tracks to yeah, see who would actually yeah, win. Yeah, yeah. But I don't have my decks, so that's not going to work. Um, anything strange that's kind of happened to you so far at the at the festival? People in Scotland they love to heckle, they love to get involved. Absolutely. Um, it, do you know what? It's just always a good vibe, and it and it starts off where. It's one of those things where you're asking people to come on stage, but at our show, we never struggle. People are always up for it. We had a guy called Luke last night that came and knocked Zara Larson out of the park, better than Zara Larson herself, to be fair. So that was pretty special. Um, and then last year when we were, we had a guy get crowd surfed out the room, didn't we? Yeah, you kind of you never really know, and it's the surprise people in the crowd, you know, the most timid people who kind of come in and go, I'm not going to sing, I won't do this. They'll always get up because they realise they're only on stage for 30 seconds. Everyone gets a cheer. Sounds like a great show. Right, where do we come and see you? How can we take part? Um, So we are every Thursday, Friday and Saturday at Just The Tonic, The Big Cave, 10.45. Once you've been and seen some stand-up comedy, come and see our... I mean, it is comedy. There's plenty of comedy in there. But come and end uh, with a, a party, a show party rolled into one Uh, with you two cheeky chappies i'm sure they've got plenty of stories famous first words zoom in zoom in Uh, go check those guys out